Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gurila and today we will learn about matter. This is a topic for Science Year 5, Unit 8. What is matter? If you can see here, we have an apple, ink, and also a steam. So, matter is any substance that has mass and occupies space. Matter All living things and non-living things consist of matter. So, we have three states of matter. For example, the first one is gas, liquid, and solid. We will look one by one of this state of matter. The first one is solid. In this diagram, it shows that the particles arrangement of solid, the particles arrangement of solid is close to each other. So let's see the example of solid. We have an ice cubes, apples, mug, books, flowers, and also beakers. You can name any other object around you that are in solid state. There's a lot of it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, now let's study the properties of solid. We have these three objects. For example, that we have marbles, stone, and coin. Now let's see the first activity where we press the object with your thumb. Okay, press the object with your thumb. If you press, the shape will remain, remain the same. That means a solid has a fixed shape. Then, the second activity, we have to measure the volume of the object using water displacement method. So, what is water displacement method? Water displacement method is actually the method for us to measure the volume of irregular shape object especially for solid so solid we cannot squeeze into a smaller size so their size cannot be changed so we use this method to identify the volume of this object what should we do is first we measure the volume of water and then we put our object into the water and second one we measure the water level again so how can we get the volume of the irregular shape object for example like this in this video we are using stone what could we do is we can obtain the volume of water before and after so we find the difference so that is the volume of our our object third activity is weight the object using a triple beam balance so if we weight the object using a triple beam balance this shows that object that are solid have mass so in this three activity actually explain to us that the three properties of solid where the first activity shows that a solid has a fixed shape the second activity shows that a solid has a fixed volume and the third activity shows that solid has mass this is the summary of properties of solid properties of solid the first one solid has mass solid has a fixed volume has a fixed shape and the last one solid cannot be compressed next matter which is liquid this is the particle arrangement of liquid so there are a certain distance between the particle of liquid compared to the solid the particle arrangement of solid are very close to each other but liquid there are some distance between the particles now let's see example of liquid we have water ink oil mercury detergent seems like if you have a shower gel lotion all of that are liquid 
Now, let's study the properties of liquid. Here we have several types of laboratory apparatus. We have reagent bottle, volumetric flask, beaker, conical flask and also the last one is measuring cylinder. So the activity is pour water with a few drop of crude coloring into all the container. Okay, pour water with a few drops of food coloring. So that means we put water into the container and then food coloring. And then activity two, measure the volume of water in each container by using the most suitable measuring apparatus. So that means we are adding same volume of water into all the container. Activity 3. Record the mass of water in each container. So in this activity, it's actually we can see that liquid will follow the shape of, of the container. Properties of liquid. Liquid have a fixed volume. Okay. Have a fixed volume where if we put 500 ml with the first container, if we put into another container, it's still 500. Put into another container, it's still 500. Showing that liquid have a fixed, fixed volume. The volume of liquid is the same even though it is put into container with different shapes. So here we have a different shape of container, but the volume is still the same. And the other things that we can learn here, a liquid has no fixed shape. But it takes the shape of its container. If we took 150 ml from the measuring cylinder, we put into the conical flask, still the same. Uh, but the shape, following the shape of the container. And the other properties is liquid can flow. That's why you can pour from one container to another container. Got it? And besides, last, the third activity is record the mass of the water in each container. This shows that liquid has, has mass. Next. Oh, this is a triple beam. Okay, next. So now let's see the properties of matter, which is liquid. So the properties of liquid. First, liquid has mass. Liquid has a fixed volume does not have fixed shape that's me that it's mean that it takes the shape of a container and then the last one it cannot be compressed okay cannot be compressed next we go to the third state of matter which is gas the particle arrangement of gas if you can see here the particle arrangement of gas is far from each other so that means gas can be compressed because there is still a distance between the particles. So let's see examples of gas. Air in a ball, water vapor, smoke, oxygen gas, and helium gas. Okay, so this is example of gas. Even around us, there is also gas. Next. So let's study the properties of air. So in the first activity, if you can see from this activity, we can see that if we put the same amount of gas into both balloon, but if we flatten one balloon, we can see that it become imbalanced. In this activity, it shows that gas, even though it very light, it still have mass and then let's see second one oh what is your observation and conclusion based on activity one two three and four okay i already told you the observations and conclusion for activity one now let's see activity number two yeah so we put water into a measuring cylinder and then we blow we blow into the measuring cylinder so in this activity we can see the water level inside the measuring cylinder become lower the water moving out from the measuring cylinder why because the air already take place in this experiment we can identify that gas or air 
has volume. The third activity. Ah, in this diagram, we can see different shape of balloon. So, we can say that air follow the shape of container. That is the third activity. And then we have the fourth activity. Okay. So, in this activity, it shows that gas can be compressed. Okay. We can press at this area. Okay. At this area, we can compress. Alamak. Okay, we can compress it. Why? Because th there are distance between the particles of gas or particle of air. So, we can compress it. Next. Okay, so I think that's it for this lesson. You can scan this QR code for an extra node and exercise. Okay, bye-bye.